This is the plaintiff, Amy Vega. She says she put down a deposit on a room to rent in the defendant's house. And even though she was going to have to share her room with him and his wife, she had no other options, so she gave him the money. Once she saw the apartment, she realized there was no way she would be able to live there, so she asked for her money back immediately. She never moved in. The defendant owes her the $1,000 she gave to him, and that's exactly what she's suing for today. This is the defendant, Leon Brown. He says the plaintiff was in a desperate situation because her family was evicted and she had no place to go. The plaintiff ended up getting into a huge fight with her mother because she didn't approve of the living situation and demanded a refund. The woman then threatened him. He told her to bug off, and here they are. He's accused of keeping the cash. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff needed to rent a room bad and ended up uh, being pressured into sharing the room with a the defendant and his girlfriend, and she couldn't handle it, and now she wants her money back. But the defendant says the plaintiff was in a desperate state and made her own bed. It's the case of everybody's been sleeping in my bed. Thank you, <laughs> Emmy Vega. Yes. You are suing Leon Brown? Uh, for a thousand dollar deposit that you want returned to you because you did not actually move in. Tell me what happened here. Okay, so um, I had, my whole family had kind of got evicted and we couldn't afford to live together anymore. So we kind of all just separated and I came straight out of high school and I didn't have a job and I have credit. Wait, Most, wait, you had just graduated from high school? Yeah. I may have. How many of you were living together when you got evicted? Five of us. Okay. So it was your mom? It was my Is mom. Is this your mom? Yes. Okay. You? Um, and who else? My two brothers and my grandma. Okay. And who's the gentleman who's here? This is my boyfriend. Okay. So everybody had to separate. And what'd you do? I started um, trying to figure out where to live. I first was going to live with my brother, but that didn't work out. So um, I decided to try to find a room to rent out. And because I didn't have credit and I have a job, most people, they didn't want to even look in my direction. No, so right. um, I found an ad and I contacted multiple people and Leon was the one who uh, responded to me. Okay. And we made a contract saying that I would, I would um, live there for three months. Um, two months rent would be 500 and the third month would be free. So I gave him um, $1,000 in cash and I have a receipt that we both signed. And, um, All right, and where were you gonna live in their place? Um, in their room. It was in, gonna be a in shared their room. room? Uh, how come? Like, that's kind of peculiar. Uh, so, um, on the meeting of her coming to my apartment to see the place, still was the option of her um, staying in the room with us or having her own private room. But the, the private room cost more. Who was living in there? Uh, there was nobody. Well, so actually, you're going to have her move into your room? So, so, so basically. I mean, that's a little peculiar, isn't it? Because oh, you were hoping to rent that out to someone else for more? No, yeah. Yeah. So there's a perfectly good empty room, mm -hmm. but she is um, paying to live inside of the same room that you two mm -hmm. are using. Mm -hmm. Where was she going to sleep? Well, um, I was offering her those, uh, an air mattress. An air mattress. Yes. So she could sleep on the air mattress in your room. Correct. That's not going to afford you a lot of privacy, is it? Well, the, um, honestly, the only reason that I actually chose to assist her is because of her situation. If, if it wasn't anything else, then I would have never suggested it. Okay, I'm taking it from the fact that you can't let go of her hand that that's your girlfriend, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, and so how did you feel about that? Not great. So would you ever, you know, in a desperate situation, move in with a boyfriend and girlfriend uh, there together and live in the same room? What do you say? No, definitely not. What would the option be that's better than that if you're really desperate? I wouldn't be that desperate. I'd go back home. Okay, well, that's a good one. Go back home. What do you say? Oh, um, no, we share a room, boyfriend, girlfriend here. Uh, I would not want to be that third person in a room, no. Okay. 
Okay, well, was that a warning? <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. All right, so what happens? You hand over $1,000, and then what happens? Where'd you get the $1,000? Um, um, we had got into a car accident, me and my brother and my mom, and she had sued. Um, okay. I'm not sure for how So you much. hand over $1,000, yeah. and what happens? Um, I think four days before I was supposed to move in, uh, my mom had informed me that they were going to clear out the apartment because it was supposed to be an eviction. So everything was kind of done in a rush. Um, so I asked them if I could move my stuff in, and I did. So I decided that that, like, not at the moment, but I um, eventually Come on up, home. Mom. I'm yeah. right? No, 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 I'm right there, right there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, you go over to help her move in. Yes. And what happens? First of all, as I walk in, it's, there's a whole bunch of suitcases lined up on, on the stairs, on the steps to go up. And the smell of cat urine was unbearable. I just told her, you cannot stay here. You cannot stay here. So what'd you do? But it was her decision. You folks end up calling the police. Yeah. And what happens? Um, uh, they went upstairs, they talked to both of us, and they said that this is a uh, civil matter for court. And at that moment, they uh, suggested that he write up a contract for a refund. They suggested that you write up a, uh, a contract for a refund. Yes. And who, who wrote up the contract? Um, Leon did, and we both agreed to it. OK, and let me, does anybody have a copy of the contract? I do. I have um, crude pictures. OK, I apologize. Do. That's better than not having anything. And you have the contract itself. Let's see it. Yeah, this is my and copy. And let's see your crude yes. pictures. Who types this up? You do? I typed it. Okay, on October 28th, I, Leon Brown, have agreed to return her money, which she paid to me on October 17th in a payment agreement. Since Emmy Vega is insisting on the return of her thousand on this date, three full days before the terms of the contract were even supposed to begin, both parties, Emmy Vega and myself, are agreeing that the before mentioned housing contract is completely null and void and hereby terminated. Well, that's an interesting twist of events. I will agree to start paying Emmy Vega ba uh, back on December 1st. Did you pay her on December 1st? No, I did not. OK, I will pay her 200 a month until the entire 1,000 is returned by registered uh, money order, mailed to P.O. Box. In conclusion, Emmy Vega nor anyone affiliated with her shall not have any personal contact with me or come near my property. So my dear, why am I here? Explain it to me, because you appear to have already signed something <laughs> saying that in return for taking monthly payments, and in return for leaving peacefully, you are going to return her money. What what happened? So, so based off so that the, you authored, what happened? So on, on on the day of the signing of the contract, I took I took the what she what she wrote on my copy of the contract as a form of insult and sort of as a threat, as in like that wh whoever she she's not responsible for whoever. But I feel has anybody come to your place and threatened you? I, ha no, I haven't. Okay, no. so then if nobody's come to your place and threatened you, can you tell me why you didn't abide by this? You don't have the money? No, I do not have the money. Okay. You're entitled to your money. Okay? Oddly, you wouldn't be, but for this contract. Because when you toss $1,000 at someone to rent a place that you know exactly what the situation is, just because your mom comes later and says this is a really ridiculous situation doesn't mean you get to not be bound by your contracts. If this weren't here, you'd be out a thousand bucks. But this is here. And this is a new contract that supersedes the agreement to rent the place. This is one that says we are both reckoned that you authored, so there's no duress or anything else, you know, where you say, you know what, I just want this over with. I don't have your money to give it back to you now. But I'll tell you what, if you'll take payments, don't sue me. You'll take payments, and you know that's how I'll pay you back, but only 200 a month. That's all I can do, and she agrees. Offer, acceptance, new contract. That's what this is. And then you breach this by not paying, OK? Now, what are you doing now? I'm worried about you. I want to know what you're doing now. <laughs> uh, I'm currently renting a room in um, Queens, okay. and I'm working. How much are you paying them rent? 900. Okay. I'm you splitting it with my boyfriend. Okay. And how are you doing? Cuz I cuz everybody here sounds like they're in dire straits, you know? When you have to bring somebody to sleep on your floor, it's it can't be good is what I'm saying. To answer your question, we're actually doing much better. We haven't had a roommate in quite a long time and he actually got a um, promotion at work a couple of months ago. Good. 
and um, we're doing oh, much good, better. Because I like ending on a happier note. Yes. Uh, yeah. However, that thousand does have to go back to her because of your own contract. Verdict for the plaintiff, $1,000. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Thank you. So the plaintiff is going to get the $1,000 back. I don't think you're surprised about that, are you? Uh, not too much, but you know what is what it is. Well, obviously things are better now for you. It must have been a really tough decision to bring people in, sleep in your own room there. Yeah, honestly, really, truly, the only reason that I was running at that point in time is because um, there's a lot of women out there that, that need to help, and I wanted to be one of those people to help them. Apparently, that wasn't what I should have done in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of that? Um, I'm just kind of disappointed because um, Emmy's mom was her witness, and she got to talk, and I didn't get to say it anything yeah. mm -hmm. so well I'm glad you got a promotion at work and congratulations that, okay at least yeah. I got that in yeah good you did okay thank you so much you must <laughs> right, sign good. some documents on your way out thank you now Ms. Vega if you'll step out okay uh you're gonna get the money back yeah you're okay yeah, um my nerves are finally calm shot right <laughs> <laughs> shot then calm yeah you did well yeah. you did well thank in you. court okay hope things work out thank for you. you all right you too. I am very happy with the decision. Good. I'm sure you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, look, when you rent, especially if it's like in a house, you got to make sure you nail down what the rooming situation is, who gets what room, who gets the use of the living room, and so on and so on. That will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.